Hello, my name is Eva Bullens, and I'll be gone from Fox News. Tonight, we focus on the horrific massacre that happened two days ago at San Diego. We now take our we now take our attention to Brian Franklin, who's inside the school of San Diego. Right? My name is Brian Frank, and I'm reporting live from the Can Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. Connecticut police released thousands of pages Friday from their investigation into the Newtown massacre, providing the most details and disturbing pictures of yet that rampage of Adam Lindsay fractioning it with the murder. But also, depending on the school employees, brave and clear headed intent to protect the children. Among those details, more than a dozen bodies, mostly children, were seen packed like sardines in a bathroom. And then, Powers inside the school were so terrible that when police sent an impairment, they tried to select one keeper of cannon with, about the witnesses. This would be the worst day of life, Police Sergeant Williams Carroll warned one. The documents released marked the end of the investigation into the December 14, 2012 shooting at the Sandy Hook Elementary School that left 20 first graders and six educators dead. Lindsay Tony went to the school after killing his mother, Nancy, inside their home. He committed suicide with a handgun as police arrived at the school. The paperwork and photos and the video were very heavily blacked out to protect the names of children with some of the massacres. Now back to Gabriel Bolas with the rest of the story. Good night, everyone. We now have breaking news in Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. It's right now the bell pole. Now turn our attention to Brian Franklin, who's on the issue as we speak. Take it away, Brian. <laughs> Breaking news that's happening right now. It's a little bit movement in Connecticut City. Uh, elementary school. Kids are coming out of the building right now. Now back to Gabriel. One of our reporters, Brian Franklin, was able to get interview one of the teachers that currently teaches at Sandy Hook. We now take our attention to Brian Franklin, who's in, who's in the school of Sandy Hook, talking to one of the teachers. Take it away, Brian. One of the teachers, Ms. Evans, she was here doing a shooting. Good morning, Ms. Evans. How are you? Good morning, Mr. Franklin. I'm okay. So what do you think about the shooting? I think it was a tragic. Accident. You think it was a tragedy, right? Yes, okay. big tragedy. What change do you think we should do about all this shooting? I believe we should have What you believe in? You believe you can fly? Like what? Yes, I do believe that we should have stronger gun laws. What kind of gun laws? Because all the shootings that happen in around here, what kind of gun laws? Well, in my opinion... I believe that the gun laws should what be What gun restricted. laws? What gun laws? All this shooting that happened around the colleges, do you think they fixing that? Yes. All the cops that are getting shot up, you think they fixing that? Yes. What happened to the movie theater shooting? Well, you think they fixing that? I believe. What you believe in? You can't say you believe. You got to tell me. What you I believe think, in? Well, I think You believe that, you can fly? I think Good night, everyone. Thank you, Mike. President Obama is now coming with new laws about gun control and school safety due to the shooting that happened in San Diego. My name is Gabriel Butler, reporting for Fox News Evening News. Good night, everybody. My name is Brian Franklin. I'm reporting now for the CNN News Desk, where we take our attention on the horrific shooting that happened at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in New Haven, Connecticut. Now we take our focus on Gabriel Butler, where he is reporting live from the Connecticut Elementary Sandy Hook School. Thank you, Brian. Now we're inside one of the rooms where, 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 the Sandy, where the horrific Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting happened. Nobody that was related to adolescent knew that he was capable of this or knew that any of this would happen at this time. Most of his family members are right now shocked. Right now shocked. But he, he, killed, he killed 20 children and 6 adults from the school with a semi-automatic rifle that he found in his mother's house. And this is, this is one of the most deadliest shootings that happened in the, in the last two years in U.S. history. Most, most students and, and stu student members are shocked and disturbed and start crying outside of school. Where we wasn't able to record the situation due to, due to the graphic intensity of what happened and for the privacy of the family. We saw many family members crying, many kids crying, hugging, up, hugging their mom and dads. As they, and, and they asked their moms, hey, where's my friends? And, the, and the parents too said, they don't want to didn't want to harm the children for any for any reason, so they so they gave them a blank answer. Now back to you, Brian Franklin. Good evening, everyone. We have breaking news coming out from Sandy Hook Elementary School that is developing right now. And our reporters, Gabriel Balls, were able to speak to one of the teachers. Take away Gabriel Balls. Thank you, Brian. 
We are here today with Miss Maxine Evans, a teacher for Sandy Hook Elementary, and we are also here with Mr. Pierre Dover, a uh, parent who lost his child in, the, in a terrible tragedy. So, Mr. Dover, what do you think about what What do you think about the whole situation? I mean, the whole situation was crazy. You know, it, uh, my son got shot, and I felt very sad about it. You know, my family was kind of upset. They said that the um, okay, okay, Mr. Dover, I understand. Thank you, thank you. So, Miss Evans. What, 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 what do you think should happen due to the situation that happened in Sandy Hook Elementary? I believe we should have stronger gun laws. Awesome. I think if we had stronger gun laws, we wouldn't have tragedies as um, what happened today. You know, all the innocent children died. Right, thank you, both of you. Now back to Brian. That's all we have for this afternoon. Thanks for watching the CNN News Channel. We will update you if we have any more in, any more information. Thank you for watching the CNN News Channel. Good night. Hello, my name is Naya King from Daily News. Today we focus our attention on December 14th, Newtown, Connecticut. Now we report to Deanna at Sandy Hook. Naya, gunman 20-year-old Adam Lanza opened fire inside of Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. In the morning hours of December 14th, 2012, 28 people were shot dead, including 20 children, 6 adults, and the shooters and the shooter's mother at a second crime scene. The victims were, ro were robbed of their lives, while the rest of their classmates were robbed of their innocence. Right now, we have some of the classmates from um, Newtown Elementary to tell us about their experience. It was, it was pretty horrifying. So, what did it feel like when they first walked into the classroom? We didn't know what to do. We were just scrambling around. Everyone, our teachers told us to stand under the desk and stand. And like, we just didn't know what to do. We were just horrified. Wow. A week after Newtown's Day of Terror, gover um, terror Government Dan Molly and the other um, town officials bowed their heads as they observed a moment of silence. What? Take it back to the end. Oh. The funerals will begin next week. Thank you, Ray. Back to Naya. Thank you. Hello, my name is Naya King. Thank you for watching Daily News. Good night.